Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 3.2 from Sadiku Book 7 edition. So the question is for the circuit in figure 3.51, obtain V1 and V2. Okay, here is the circuit and we are given that this is our reference node or our ground. So the voltage here will be zero. Okay, now what next? We can assume the direction of the current. This node is V1 and this node is V2. I want to assume that this branch has a current that going down. This also going down. This also going down. And this one is going to the right. And for the branch that contain the current source, I just follow the arrow direction here. So I will have this going to the right and this going up. Okay, so we have two nodes here. We need to do KCL at V1 and then KCL at V2. Let's do exactly that. First thing that we need to do is we need to do KCL at node V1. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. All the currents is going out here. This is going out, this is going out, this is going out, and this is going out. So the current that goes in is zero, right? Because no current that goes in. And then this current here is V1 minus zero divided by 10, the resistance between them. V1 is here, zero is here, and the resistance between them is 10 ohm. And then for this one, using the same logic, we will have V1 minus 0 divided by the resistance between them, which is 5. And then for this one, we have a current source, which has the magnitude of 6 ampere. So I will have plus 6 here. And then the last branch is this one, V1 minus V2 divided by 2. So I will have plus V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance between them, which is 2. I think we can multiply both sides here by 10 because they will cancel all the denominator here. Okay, so on the left hand side, 0 multiplied by 10 is still 0. And then V1 minus 0 is V1, but 10 will cancel each other. So I will have V1 from here. And then from this part here, this term, 5 and 10 will cancel into 2. And the numerator will be V1 because V1 minus 0 is just V1. So I will have 2 V1. Okay, and then this one will be 6 multiplied by 10. So I will have 60. And then this one, 2 and 10 will cancel into 5. And we multiply 5 into the numerator. So I will have 5 V1 minus 5 V2. Good. Okay, now let's add all the V1s. So I will have 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. So I will have 8 V1. And then minus 5 V2. Minus 5 V2. Okay. And then let's move this positive 60 to the left hand side. So I will have minus 60. Good. I think nothing more that we can do. Let's save this as equation number one. Okay, good. Now let's do another KCL, but this time at node V2. So let's do that. KCL at node V2. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, there are three currents that goes in here. One, two, and three. And then only one current that goes out. Okay, let's do that. Six ampere here. So I'll have six. And then plus. This one here is V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance between them. So I will have two. And then plus. We will have three ampere here. So I will have three here. Okay, I think we got all the current that goes in. And that will equal to this current that goes out. So I will have V2 
minus 0 divided by 4. Okay, let's multiply both sides by 4. So we can get the denominator cancelled out. Okay, 6 multiplied by 4 is 24. And then 2 and 4 will cancel into 2. So I'll have 2v1 minus 2v2. And then plus 3 multiplied by 4 is just 12. And then 4 and 4 will cancel each other. And we will have v2 here. Good. Uh, now let's rearrange this. I will have 2v1 minus I, I think I will move this to the left hand side so I will have minus 2 minus 1 so I will have minus 3 v2. 24 plus 12 is 36 36 positive let's move it to the right hand side so I will have minus 36. Good let's save this as equation number two so now we will have two equation and two variables okay i think we can solve this let's use the last task to solve one and two. the fastest way to do that is by using calculator okay let's get out of our calculator set it up as equation solver which is number five and two variables is number one here and let's put the number we will have eight minus five and then minus 60 and then we will have two then minus three and then minus 36 so I will have V1 will be 0, V1 will equal to 0, and what is V2? V2 is 12 volt, V2 is 12, and the unit here is 4, so I will have 4 here. So the final answer is V1 is equal to 0 volt, and then V2 is equal to 12. And I think that's all for this problem. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.